up guys welcome back to another episode of outdoor chef life i'm taku and today we have an interesting episode here we're going to try something out i read in one of my comments that they somebody turned their smoker into a cold smoker these things uh, this is a camp chef pellet grill and most grills like this smokers like this uh, only do hot smoke you can only bring it the temperature down to about 160 degrees and that cooks whatever you're smoking like especially like salmon i want to do a cold smoked salmon so a subscriber was saying in the comments that their little secret is to remove this little guy and attach a little pipe into another box and use that smoke to cold smoke things i was like oh that seems pretty easy doable and like a little quick fix first thing would be to just take this little little hat off this little guy and this comes off pretty easily so i read this comment months ago so i don't exactly remember what he said um like the whole thing but i just remember that it was take this off run a pipe from here from this thing because this is like the chimney of the smoker right and just run that smoke into another box i think that's pretty much the gist of it oh there you go okay well the top is off but now i'm kind of looking at this uh I have this pizza oven on the side. I'm wondering if I can run the smoke out of here and then into there and then I'll just put like a little a little rack in there and then put my salmon on there. Let's see what happens. If not, if that doesn't work, then we'll get another box or something. A cardboard box will probably even work. Before we do anything else, we're gonna make a salt and sugar cure for the salmon. I just pulled the salmon out of the freezer last night to defrost. And it's going to be a 50-50 salt and sugar. So I'm doing about a half cup each. And mix it all up. Make sure it's all mixed up. And we're just going to put a layer on the bottom. Put it all on the salmon. Spread it out evenly. And then just going to leave it in the fridge for about an hour to uh, maybe an hour and a half. I went home, Gito. Where do I go? Let's see. Maybe in plumbing I could find something. I'm thinking of like the the stuff you put on the dryer. Oh, here it is. Is this it? Oh yeah. I think this is what I need. This semi-rigid duct. And this, I think you can extend this. This one is $9. I think that'll work. Now we gotta go find Jocelyn. She's at the gardening section. Looking for a bunch of gardening stuff, I think. Found her. She's got dirt. Jocelyn's gonna get a bunch more stuff. But uh, that's all I needed, just one thing. So, see you guys back at the house. All right, and I'm back. I have the thing right here that I just bought. So let's see. I'm just thinking that's gonna go right on the chimney there. That actually fits kind of perfectly. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and I'm gonna extend this out like that and into, into the pizza box right here. And then hopefully the smoke transfers from here on into here. And then there's vents in the back of this. So hopefully that's enough venting, ventilation uh, to Boom, boom, boom. I'll probably have to put like some kind of cover on the opening here. There we go, turn that on. Let me make sure I have got enough pellets in there. This is a wood pellet grill. So, just set temp. Let's go high smoke. High smoke. Confirm. It's gonna take a little time to start up. All right, we're just gonna rinse off all the salt and sugar. That was actually about almost an hour and a half. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's definitely smoke coming out of the back of these vents right here on the pizza oven. So I think this is gonna work. I think I just need to seal the front, maybe just with a little cardboard. There's smoke going in there, 100%.
I just need to cut out this circle and I think I'm good to go. Out <laughs> of boom. I think I got it. Just put that right there, bam. And now there's smoke coming out of the back. You see that, right? Let's check the temperature on the pizza oven because this has a thermometer. It's actually a little, it's a little hot. It's 120, is that, yeah, about 120 degrees in there, which is cooler than if I would smoke it in, in the actual grill. Staying at about 120 degrees. I think we're just gonna go for it. I don't think that's hot enough to cook the fish. So I think it should be all right. And that'll fit ooh, perfectly in there. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, I think <laughs> it's pretty funny looking, huh? But uh, I think this is gonna work. And you might be wondering, why do you wanna cold smoke it over just, just why not smoking it in here, right? a little hot um, well you see the thing is these grills and most of most like smokers like this uh, they only get to 160 degrees that's the coldest it gets so when you smoke it at that temperature it's gonna cook the fish and you know when you when it cooks the fish it changes the texture and you know when um, when you, you know when you buy smoked salmon from a supermarket it still has that raw texture and that's what I want that's cold smoked so I want that raw texture still but with the delicious smoky flavor so that's the goal here that's what I'm doing and I want to let that go for about uh, maybe an hour and a half two hours Jocelyn wants to give you guys a garden tour so I guess that's what we're gonna do right now what you want to show us if you look here this is my broccoli but it got eaten there's not much to show right now to them because <laughs> I just wanted to show you my babies my little beets are in there. Okay. These are all beets. All in there. Oh, she's got some stuff going, but a lot of a lot of babies she's got going on. The winter plants, you know, are starting up, and all the summer stuff has got to go. All the tomatoes are like just a couple tomatoes left, and my smoker is going. Look at that. <laughs> that thing is smoking. Smoking hard. And the temperature, uh, still about 110, 110, 120, right around there. So that's pretty good. <laughs> this is gonna work. <laughs> Such an easy hack. We're in my office right now. You can see all these boxes. I just got a delivery from Helio Threads. Shout out to Brian. Man, so he's a Brian from Helio Threads. He's a subscriber of mine who actually reached out to me and when I was trying to print these sweaters. This is a salmon print from a previous video of mine where I caught this salmon and then my friend Dwight printed it beautifully and now it's framed in my dining room and also it is right here, right on this sweater. And Brian helped me with that. Another subscriber just helping me out. You guys are always helping me, so thank you. You guys are the best, man, I swear. It's so awesome, I have the best subscribers. You guys help me with all kinds of stuff. Give me a bunch of suggestions. You guys give me great experiences. Just like, you know, everywhere I go, I feel like I have a friend, you know, anywhere. So these hoodies are now available on my website, OutdoorChefLife.com. Thank you guys for all your support. And I'm really excited about this. And these sweaters that I picked out, he gave me a sample of a bunch of sweaters. And I try to pick the best quality ones. And these are super comfy so soft one more thing i wanted to mention all these hoodies are going to be shipped out in these 100 percent recycled poly mailers from eco enclose and yeah so eco friendly oh we got the logo on them too that's branded that is awesome look at, i got these as well these i'm going to send out the shirts in them the long sleeve shirts i just restocked as well bam these ones right here link in the description so that's i guess that's enough uh, self-promotion for now thank you guys for all your support and uh the salmon should be ready in no time and it's been an hour and a half so i think that's good enough Check that out. That out. Oh, look at that 
Oh, that's very smoky. That's looking good. Smoky. All right, so I'll tell you what we gotta do now. And I'm gonna wrap it. Still has the skin on. I'm gonna wrap it in plastic. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna lock the smoke inside of these salmon pieces. And then I'm just gonna throw this in the refrigerator for overnight and we're gonna have some smoked salmon in the morning. And we're gonna test out another one of Ricky's knives from Perfection. Nice. This is a Damascus steel, I believe, VG10. Pretty, pretty knife, like it, love the handle. Oh, like butter. Super smooth. I don't even need this much onion, but. This is some pickled artichoke hearts. On some capers? Mm-hmm. I can use capers or, you know, anything like that. I like putting pickles and stuff on it too. And of course we have to do the smoked salmon. I'll take the skin off here like this. And I'm just gonna slice this like I would some really thinly sliced sashimi. Ooh, That's, this is looking nice. Just toasted it a little bit in the oven. And we'll just do like the typical, you know, smoked salmon toppings. You can use a bagel, whatever you like. But I have this really tasty country loaf right now. Got some onions. And finish it with a little bit of dill. beer. Just OJ. <laughs> mm. It's so tender. It's delicious. And this is the last of my salmon. And this was that salmon. The last salmon that I caught. This you, you see up here on the painting. As well as my sweater. It was this salmon. It's the last of it. Actually, he lives on because he's on the sweater and the painting. What'd you think? The artichoke's good. I like it. I didn't know how quick it was to smoke the salmon. Yeah. I mean, you could smoke it for longer, but the smoke was pretty intense. And yeah, you don't need to smoke it too long. And um, yeah, and it's... And it's perfect, right? Yeah. It's like better than the store-bought smoked salmon that looks like this. Mm -hmm. And it's just it so more tender. So much, yeah, it's so tender and delicious. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Such an easy hack to do. <laughs> I literally just bought one piece for it and used cardboard. And that was it. Turn your regular smoker into a cold smoker. 
Oh, I guess if you don't have the, the little pizza oven like I do uh, next to it, you could probably just use like a box. But you do have to make sure you wrap it up with that saran wrap and leave it in the fridge overnight at least. Um, Cause that's gonna really concentrate the flavor inside the salmon. Yeah. Wow. That was great. Mm -hmm. That was really great. Oh, I love that smoked salmon. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Remember, if you guys want a hoodie, OutdoorChefLife.com, available now. And uh, yeah, thank you guys all for watching and thank you for supporting the channel as always. And see you guys next time.